Let's set up Siri on your iPhone. Now, if you wanted to use Siri either by pressing the side button or just saying, hey Siri, I'm gonna walk you through the steps to get it all set up, the features that you can turn on or off and some cool options in terms of what it can do. So let's hop into settings here and then we'll just scroll down until we find Siri and search. Now, there are a couple different options in terms of turning on Siri. One is that you can have your iPhone listen for when you say, hey Siri. The other option is you can press the side button for Siri to pop up. So let's turn on press side button and hit enable Siri. Now I'm gonna do the hey Siri as well and I'll hit continue. Hey Siri, basically what I'll do is follow these prompts. Hey Siri, send a message. You'll give me a little check. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. So by going through these steps, basically you're one, training Siri to understand and hear your voice is one of the things, and two, it's giving you some cool different options in terms of what Siri can do. So now that I have that turned on, I can change the language, the voice, I can do any kinds of things like announce calls, I can change what information it uses, what apps it has access to and all of that stuff. One of the cool newer features is that Siri can take a screenshot of your iPhone. So I can say, hey Siri, take a screenshot. And you can see at the bottom left now is a screenshot of my screen. I can do other stuff like, Hey Siri, write a note. And it says, what do you want to say? I can basically go through those steps, have Siri write a note for me, turn on music, set a calendar appointment, set a clock or a timer or anything like that. Any basic function on your iPhone, you can have Siri do and customize so that you don't necessarily need to use your hands. It's helpful if you're driving or you're doing something else and you just want Siri to do something without you having to physically do it on your iPhone. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.